Why in the hell would you click on a video that says why Led Zeppelin really? sucks? Really? Why would really? The joke is on you, you, my friends, because Led Zeppelin is awesome, awesome. and you just got clickbaited so hard. So hard. And we're just going to kind of gush over our experiences Good with job. Led Zeppelin. Good job. Yes. Right? Absolutely. Yes, cuz Led Zeppelin is phenomenal. You fell for it, admit it. Mm -hmm. But we're going to you stay here. Stay here cuz we're going to we're going to talk about why and how and we're going to persuade you. Our personal our personal relationship with Zeppelin. Zeppelin, right? When was the first time I heard Zeppelin? You know, I I got into this late, relatively late. Mm -hmm. I remember I was at a state like a like a baseball game with a friend of mine. I was probably like a junior in high school. Okay. I didn't know anything about classic rock yet. I was so naive. I was so ignorant. Eh? Yeah. It's like this like this beautiful flower growing <laughs> in the world, but like didn't know anything that was going on outside. And a, a song came on. Don't even remember. And my friend. It was kind of like a prick. And he's like, hey, what band is this? Like quizzing me. Yeah. And I'm like, Psh. I, I, by the way, another thing I learned early on was that whenever you don't know the answer, answer with confidence. Yeah. Right? So I'm like, Led Zeppelin. Because I knew the name. I saw the shirts and stuff like that. And it was. And he's like, and he's like right on, man. <laughs> and like, he totally respected me. And ever since then, I was like, maybe there's something to this Zeppelin I'm a golden stuff. god. <laughs> yeah, right? That's, that's so great. <laughs> so the next year, I started playing guitar. Ah. And then it was just to, it was over after that. Yeah, same, but, similar with me. My my um growing up in in Long Island, New York, uh, my sister's room was next to my room, and uh, I'm four years younger than my sister. And her boyfriend at the time, uh, I didn't know this, had brought like a CD over, mm -hmm. and you could hear the music through the walls. And I remember being in my room. I think I was doing homework. I think mm -hmm. I, was, I was 12 years old. I remember hearing the muffled like. Over, and, and, yeah. over your sister like banging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they turned it on to hide that, and I was so focused on Heartbreaker. Awesome. I'm gonna throw up right now. <laughs> Thanks, man. I hope my sister's not watching this. But you know, I heard that. I remember. Uh, I remember. Like, I was just like, "What is what, that? What hap What is? Yeah. What is this? You know?" And then I asked him. I said, "What is this? It's Led Zeppelin." And 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 uh, her boyfriend was like, "You have to. This is Led Zeppelin too." And I was like, "This is awesome." And I remember I asked him if I could borrow it, and I borrowed it, and. Uh, that that first hour, I was just like, "This is amazing." I mean, uh, really, it was the first band I was introduced to outside of like the radio in my mom and dad's car. Mm -hmm. You know, like '80s rock, '90s or '80s sure. rock. You know, see, and, I didn't even get that. Uh -huh. Like, my parents didn't listen to any rock. It was all smooth jazz or Rob <laughs> Thomas or whatever, right? <laughs> and uh, and it was awful. And again, I was so naive. Yeah, and like I I had no idea. No, I, I didn't hear Stairway to Heaven until I was like 20 years old. Oh my god! I, man. I know. Terrible. It's, it's ridiculous. I, I don't even. I don't even understand how it got that far. I. I, I honestly, <laughs> just to let you know. And and no, how did it get that far? Um, I bought my first guitar because of timing. Honestly, between like Guns N' Roses and Led Zeppelin. Guns N' Roses was swarming around, but then I heard Led Zeppelin. And I said, "That's it. I have to play guitar." And I went out to Sam Ash. Right, I went to mm -hmm. Sam Ash, and and I, I got my first cream colored. A Stratocaster, Oof. and I bought an amp. Check out, I bought an amp with reverb. That's important. Like, oh. how well did I luck out there? That's... Don't buy amps or get amps without reverb. If you have the option and price is the same, get the reverb. You need, the reverb. You need it. It helps. <laughs> and uh, and I started learning. You know, Heartbreak or Whole Lot of Love, uh, Lemon Song, and I was I was obsessed. I mean, this guy was. You know, at, at the time, you, you give you give Jimmy Page all the credit, but then you start realizing like how Bonham. Oh my you know, gosh. was there and John Paul Jones and just the vocals and how like they are Led Zeppelin was the ultimate package kind of just you know <laughs> whipping it out and saying here we are we <laughs> exactly. are the best band and ever. like we talked about in like the mode videos accessible, accessible. To, to, a, to a young musician or yeah. a beginner musician you can wrap your head around how things work yeah you know you might not you're obviously not going to play it like Jimmy did you no, know what I mean They're like no. the nuances of like his, his techniques and playing and stuff no. comes later but I think there's such a great band for any beginner guitarist to like just kind of think about. And I, I don't know how old you are behind uh, that, that camera, uh, but you have to understand um, your guitar players that you love got their influence from Every, Jimmy Page, yeah. everyone. And so if you don't like Led Zeppelin or if you haven't heard it, go give them a chance because this is the original, it's like the holy bible of, of rock music, mm -hmm. you know, and, and so, and they really, I mean, they really influenced everyone from techniques to sounds to people wanting to be like John Bonham and develop, even developing, developing that bass sure. drum, that thunder drum. Even you just know? The, the acoustic stuff too, oh, yeah. you know, awesome. kind of like bringing it down, dialing it down, everything. Abs absolutely awesome. <coughs> yeah. Can I, can I ask you a question? I would love it if you had some questions. And, and again, we haven't, we haven't really talked about this, but I'm just wondering like, 
now in hindsight, who was the most important person Oof. in Zeppelin? Oh my god! Who, who was your most important one? or my favorite? Uh, you could any which answer is fine. All right, to me, Jimmy Page is the most important. He he always is, and he yeah. always will be to me. But my favorite is actually Robert Plant. Now, in hindsight, yeah. and before you say anything, before anybody judges me, everyone listen to Robert Plant and Strange Sensation. They're they're the solo stuff. Robert Plant's solo stuff. He has some awesome solo stuff. I I will Freedom Fries. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! It's all right. It's kind of a stupid name. I swear to God, I promise you. I'm gonna. In fact, I'll try to find it and I'll link to it because I think out of all the guys from that era who tried doing solo stuff, and again, a lot of people like Outrider and Jimmy Page's stuff. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think the the uh, the Plant Strange Sensation stuff is awesome. I I kind of have to agree with you, even though like I love Page. I don't think a lot of guitar players understand how, you know, guitar players, good guitar players have this thing called theory behind them to help them fill in the gaps, to mm -hmm. do that stuff. But a vocalist doesn't have that. A vocalist has just the ability to hear and try to sing what comes out. Exactly. And when you listen to Plant and how good and unique he was. Think of how many unreal. poor man's Jimmy Pages are out there. So many. Poor man's John Bonhams so many. are out there. Yeah. There's, there's only one Robert Plant. Yeah? It's true. Like, I... He's the golden god. Who can contact us on this channel if he wants to? Please, you're welcome here anytime, Robert. <laughs> Sit right I think he's here. got a place on yesterday. I think he does. He was at yeah. a restaurant uh -huh. uh, one day, and yeah. my friend saw him, and I'm mm -hmm. so upset I didn't get to see him. Anyways, but uh, so who do you think is the most important? No, I agree with Jimmy Page. He, really, I, I think of them as a, a tight unit, but it really, yeah. I don't know. You know, I, John Bonham, fantastic. I mean, just John Bonham was just amazing. Amazing. Rob Plant, amazing. Jimmy Page, amazing. I do have to say, if, if we shift the conversation to who was, um, I don't know, who, who who was the unsung hero? I'd say it's John Paul Jones. Well, I mean, in any band, the bass player is the unsung hero. No. If you needed to like make an unsung <laughs> hero out of everyone, it's always a bass player. No, I mean, I mean think about it. <laughs> you know, when you yeah, so he said that John Paul Jones was the most underrated musician in the history of music. I have to say that. He really was. I... I respectfully, I love John Paul Jones. I don't want anybody to think I'm ever hating it. The dude, otherworldly musical talent. Absolutely. Yeah? Can do anything. Yeah? Yes. But I think more than anything was, he was the perfect glue to fill in the cracks that those other three incredibly unique legendary guys. He's exactly what that band needed. To, to fill in cracks. Just like the utility guy. Yeah? Oh, And yeah, I think okay. it can be heard of, and again, a lot of people disagree with this, Anything post four Zeppelin yeah. is when Zeppelin. I I feel John Paul Jones has a bigger role in the writing and the composition. I think post House of the Holy. Oh but wait, no House of the Holy. Even House of the Holy. I think post four, John Paul Jones started kind of like doing his thing, which is cool. I'm all for a band yes. developing. But what I think of Led Zeppelin is one through four. One through four. And I'm not a huge fan. There's some, there's some moments for sure. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of stuff post four. The raw the rawness. You bite. I feel your I feel like Page and Bonham. The, just that rawness, yeah. Like the one, two, and then you know they musically evolved to three and four and peaked. A lot of people say they peaked at four. I don't I know. It, yeah, yeah, I think it peaked has the whole. I do. I mean, the song remains the same. Oh, great songs for sure. Yeah, but, but I feel that's like the decline. It is like, a decline, and and I know I know everybody's watching this. I mean, where are they going with this? But I, we haven't talked about this. But I want to say mm -hmm. I do have beef. <laughs> I'm saying this with the rain song. I feel. Uh oh. Wait, hold on. Okay, okay. go ahead. No, go ahead. I feel. <laughs> God, man, why am I doing this? I've held this in for such a long time. I feel like Rain Song was Jimmy Page's number two attempt at Stairway. And really? It, yeah. I, 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 I see where you're going. I do. That yeah. epic like <clears throat> thing, and it just doesn't do it for me. I said it. <laughs> I, I'm He's on an island with that. I mean, I love Rain Song, but I get it how it's kind of like the sister to Stairway to Heaven. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> who's banging the, the sister? Next group? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, time? no. Okay. If anything, Stairway is the sister who's getting banged, <laughs> yeah. and Rain Song is you as a twelve-year-old. <laughs> that's probably why you don't like Rain Song. <laughs> now it all makes sense. He's been holding this in for so long. Oh, this and is I a big we, therapy we just, session. Yeah, man. we just had a moment Ooh, yeah. right there. I feel better. <clears throat> Who says insight's anyway. not cure? Well, I think this is Rain Song is, is like it's in a different tuning, right? Yeah. I, I personally think. <laughs> You're just not going to get over this, are you? <laughs> oh, I think, and I think any uh, guitarist who maybe feels like a little st stuck in a rut or something like this, oh, yeah. retune your guitar to something weird because then you get out of your shapes. You're forced oh, to get out of your shapes and you have to true. play more by ear. Right? And that's insane. And, that, and then right. when you and when, then when that happens, cashmere happens. Cashmere happens. You know happens. Rain I mean? song happens. Rain song happens. Stuff like that. Friends? Happens. Yeah, sure. Brown your stomp. Yeah, right? Okay, yeah. never mind. Yeah. So if you're in a rut, 
find a different tuning and do it because all your shapes become worthless and you yeah. got to use your ear yeah. and then your writing will evolve. And I kind of feel like that's what maybe Jimmy Page yeah, did. Yeah. It's totally. like, man, I like a lot of this stuff sounds. So what you're saying <laughs> is up until Houses of the Holy, Jimmy Page had everything figured out. He needed a new idea and he crapped out Rain Song. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it that way. I just think I'm one thing. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I was just kidding. It's like how it's many a, like good song. how many nasty bluesy ballsy riffs can you do? Right, one through four. I, I get it. You got to yeah. do something different. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm with and, you. Hey, my hat's off to the guys. But you, <laughs> we got to reel this back in. <laughs> got, <laughs> <laughs> the point is, uh, Led Zeppelin is awesome, and they're influential. Like they really, really are. You know, and to be honest, you know, I, as I get older in life, I do really start to respect in through the outdoor and physical graffiti because you really. You know, as you get older, you, you develop new tastes for things, for sure. food, for movies, for anything. And and one through four Zeppelin is quintessential, especially when when you're young and you're on it. Mm. But when you move over to in through the outdoor physical uh, graffiti, graffiti, there you go. Coda. I'm not a big fan of Coda, but like those two albums really grew on me. Like you you know, what Robert Plant said that his favorite song, the favorite moment was um, in my time of dying. On yeah, physical graffiti. Remember, yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you haven't heard that song, listen to in my time of dying. Also, if you want a quick intro to Zeppelin. Listen to the album How the West Was Won, the live album. They're, oh, they're, yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, there's no way you can you can ignore the Like 20-minute versions of like Achilles' Last Stand or something oh, yeah. like that, right? Yeah, and, like... just, and you hear John Bonham, and, and just absolute powerful. Mm-hmm. What's... And just those musicians in general, kind of like how, how we said they're accessible. Like, you can play a Jimmy Page song, but that doesn't mean you're Jimmy Page. No. You can play a John Bonham. Like, John oh, yeah. Bonham's grooves are like, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, you know, I can sit behind a kit and learn it, but you can't play it like John no. Bonham. No, except know, for one thing that you can't play <laughs> Look up on YouTube, uh, John Bonham playing isolated drum tracks to A Fool in the Rain, and mm-hmm. it's just him playing. Oh my and god! And it is mind boggling. It's like the the ghost the ghost thing that like you know if you're not a drummer yeah. like when you're kind of a ghost note is like when you're like playing it but you know you're feeling it you're feeling the essence of a note more than the actual listening yeah, to just it touching. Yeah, yeah. So when you actually get an isolated track, it's like oh my, my god, god. Like, I it's can't. phenomenal. <laughs> You know, these these four guys were king of the world for 11 years. Was that it? The sh- 11 short years? Well, I think it stopped in 19... Like, the 80s literally killed John yeah, Bonham. Bonham. Right? Like in, yeah. I think that's how it happened. Yeah, the 80s killed music, so that makes sense. <sighs> I know, right? It's so sad. But now it's, we're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. The point is, if you want to play guitar and you want to play well, you have to go back to some of its roots. That's right. And Led Zeppelin... I mean, yes, there are... Like, Led Zeppelin's here and they have roots... But Led Zeppelin was the culmination of some of the best rooting. I, I think I think blues music, the evolution of blues music, yeah, like hit its. I think it hit its ceiling with Led Zeppelin. Right? I did, I did how are you gonna How are you gonna evolve blues in a better, heavier, right way that kind of like signifies right? Like blues went like this, right, and then also mm-hmm. this bubble formed and popped, and that that bubble was Led Zeppelin, and Led Zeppelin exactly exploded just, everywhere. Yeah. Now we'd be remiss to talk about Led Zeppelin without possibly mentioning. Some of the plagiarism issues. True. Which yeah. I have I have just learned to a greater extent just recently. Yeah. How much they Yeah, right? How allegedly. It's, it's an interesting thing how like I mean it's not even alleged. Like some of the stuff is like taken like note for note. Note for note. You know? I mean there there are plenty of videos on YouTube where they plagiarize and we talk about this, but to be honest, I don't care. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in the in the grand scheme of things, it's like they made they made them better, for sure. It's true. It's like if you're a Pepsi fan, there's Coke. If you're like Coke, there's I don't know. I'm, I'm They're both the same. One's better. Doesn't I would it? equate it as if someone snuck into, if, if an art thief Ooh. snuck into like the fanciest museum in the world and stole like uh, stole the Mona Lisa, yeah. took it, Ooh. made it better, <laughs> improved it, and started a new museum, yeah. and then you went to that museum. You'd be like Leonardo de who? <laughs> like, what the, is this? Leonardo yeah. de Daniel? What yeah, is this? That's right. But this is new stuff. It's so true. I mean, mm-hmm. like... I guess you can say whether or not whether or not they knew they were stealing or plagiarizing. We'll never know. We'll never know because they're not going to say anything. That's right. <laughs> um, I can't be in his yeah, head. Yeah, true. The, the thing is they took what they heard and they gave it pizzazz and chord progressions and feelings and feeling and emotions that the masses of people could adhere to. Exactly. So like I will always love Led Zeppelin despite whatever claims there are against plagiarism. I don't care because what they did for me. Like exactly, what right. they did for me, it, I mean, I can't thank them enough. And that's why I think they've they've lived on. Yeah. Like I, I don't think there's really much of an argument. Like you know, you you have their contemporaries, like maybe like the Who, 
So like yeah. other bands yeah. from that era yeah. that maybe uh, you know like to like again you see they're like 12 13 year old kids wearing Led Zeppelin shirts. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? They might not even know what they're doing. Dude, no, no, but <laughs> but like Led Zeppelin has stayed alive. Yeah, it's true. Through the years and I, and I feel like they'll continue to do so because of that. So because of that. while the plagiarism thing is a worthy footnote, I think yeah. it is just that. Just that footnote. Mm -hmm. And also I guess this is uh, we, before we get going. This is our plea to you. Share Zeppelin with people. Yourself Absolutely. and other people, because we were influenced to play guitar, and we are here on YouTube teaching guitar and talking about guitar. Yep. And you have no idea who Zeppelin could influence to just become the next generation of teachers or players. But give it to yourself and to them. Share Zeppelin and what they're still doing. Yeah. Again, yeah. I don't want to make it come off like I don't like John Paul Jones. He doesn't because he's still putting in work. I don't oh, know yeah. if you've ever heard of them, Crooked Vultures, which Ian did not before this conversation. Crooked who? It's Josh Homme. On guitars and vocals, Dave Grohl on drums, and John Paul Jones killing it on bass guitar. Whatever age he is, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, and they well, just crush, it. crush them, it. Them crooked vultures. See, a byproduct <clears throat> of Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. Once again, proving the theory that Led Zeppelin sucks.